G'day guys, welcome back to another video of Anima RPG 2020. How are we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. So, you guys were interested in Anima, or particularly interested in me playing an ARPG. Um, sort of discussed about this in the previous video. If you guys want to sort of check that out, please check out the um, video. I'll link it somewhere within this one. But, you guys were interested which made me happy because I've been wanting to expand and do um, different uh, gaming videos um, as I really wanted to sort of branch out. And now that you guys have got some interest in Anima, but more in particularly, I'm really interested in playing Diablo Immortal. You guys, terribly wrong down here. I love it every time you walk into here, you get that little... Um, a little creepy voice coming in and echoing, especially when you're playing with headphones. Um, it's cool. Anyway, digress. Uh, yes, so you guys are interested in me playing Diablo Immortal, so I'm hopeful that I will get the opportunity to play it. Um, I'm hopeful that I'll get early access to play the game. That's my uh, that's my hope. And if I do get that, um, happy days. You guys will get to see me play the game. I'll get to create new content and I get to expand my horizons as well. So really super duper excited about that as a whole. So I'm hoping um, that will come to fruition soon. Again, um, I would have explained this in my previous video of Anima, but we really don't have an actual time frame until Blizzard say otherwise. Um, but we did hear some murmurs in regards to when they could start beta testing which is something that i'm going to be really interested in doing as well if i get the set opportunity to you know make that happen oh I'm, I'm, I'm blocked i'm blocked <laughs> i got cornered i got cornered uh, so let's go back to the entrance that's fine um i think i might have to go through the um uh, let's start where, oh no, there's no enemies here, which is good. Okay, well that's cool. Um, but yeah, so super super excited when that actually happens and drops, if I get that opportunity, um, I'll be a happy boy, put it that way guys. Um, Alright, so I managed to kill all the other little hound things, aside from the main one here, which gives me the all the loot drops that I'm hoping for. Now, whatever that might be, um, you know, hopefully I get some pretty decent loot, but let's see what we got anyway. Um, ooh, so I've got a rare, that's good. Um, so we'll hang on to that. So 20% chance of immobilize uh, an enemy for two seconds. Arm increased by 20%, uh, plus nine to gold find and plus nine to thorns. Thorns, I'm not too particularly sure what that means. So if you guys know what that means, if you guys have been playing that, I'm um, sorry, playing this game for a little while now and understand exactly what that means, please let me know in the comments because I will be interested to know that. Plus, I'm sure a lot of other people will be interested to know what that means. So, um, but pretty much what we're doing here at the moment is we are just diving into the basement just checking it out, having a bit of a muck around, and I want to get down to the second and third levels, possible fourth, depending on how many levels there is of the basement with this, um, and hopefully we can um, continue on with our little quest, and um, yeah, and then find out what's going on with, um, with what's happened to uh, the soldiers at hand. So let's play around with this three little attack. So this is probably a good attack to use if I was in that similar position from before. Um, if I got crowded up on um, by a whole bunch of enemies, probably a good way of sort of, um, you know, uh, taking out more than one enemy at a time because you are going to get that. So it's probably good to sort of think about and doing that. So let's go ahead and test the theory. So we'll have a couple of these guys here. Took them both out with one hit. That's actually really good. I'm happy with that. There's a spitter. Let's get let's deal with him and deal with him. And he actually didn't bother um, attacking me, which was interesting, that little hound look-alike thing. I'm calling it a hound, like a like a like a wild dog, I guess. So, you know, if I'm wrong, please forgive me, but I'm just sort of um, sort of taking it as I see it kind of thing. 
So let's continue on. I'm level 10 by the way. And right now, when I was playing in my test world um, of this game on my other device, I actually managed by level 10, I was able to unlock the, the next stashes on my stash back at home. So I'm not too sure what's up with that because I haven't been able to unlock it in this world. Not too sure what I did for that to happen, to be perfectly honest with you. I was actually just excited playing the game as a whole in general. So yeah, not too sure what's going on with that. Um, again, if you guys know anything about that, you more experienced guys that are playing the game, let me know in the comments. Please drop a comment and uh, let myself, but everyone else know exactly what the criteria is to get all three of your stash loads opened up. Um, I'm, I am hoarding <laughs> and I really don't want to do that but it is happening and I said that I didn't want to do it in the initial video but I am and I don't know exactly what to do with everything so um, I guess if I'm exploring more of these um, levels here I'm going to find better you know loot and drop um, and better drops and things like that so um, I think that's something I really need to sort of think about and consider rather than just sort of making do with what I find, I guess. I think that's probably, you know, a good mindset to be in, but, you know, me um, and loot go hand in hand, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Ooh, I've got a yellow armor as well, nice. So that's good. So you get better health regen, better health, and plus two for um, for dodging and plus two sockets. Now, I don't, I don't think I've ever come, um, come across a socket in general. So what I'm guessing from some of these uh, drops, whether it be weapons or armor, that their loot, oh, sorry, their equipment with empty sockets um, as an option. So I'm assuming that the more sockets, the better the abilities that you're going to have um, that you can attach to your equipment. But, ooh, am amulet. Now, that's the first time I've got amulet, so I think that's where you find them in the basement by the looks of things. So, let's go ahead and identify this one. Uh, so, 1 plus mana to steal and plus 9 to magical damage. And this one here has absolutely nothing, so I'm going to go ahead and bang that on there. Can I double? No, I can't double stack. That's fine. That's plus 6 versus plus 5. Definitely going to jump that on and we'll leave that alone, probably end up selling it. So yeah, this is what I mean. So you get four socket uh, opportunities here. Um, I don't know if I've seen more than four. Have I seen six? I can't, I can't recall. Um, but I may have um, stashed that away knowing my luck. So um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So I'm getting weapons, more amulet. Let's have a quick squeeze at that let's see if that's any difference plus 11 to thorns and pretty bad on mana and uh mage ability so i think we might leave that Ooh, okay can i okay so they're in the internal force field i need to bring these guys out so Ooh, there's the main boy there's the main boy nice nice Okay, that was a lot better. Uh, this bit of guy, I think we'll be able to deal with him quite easily. Look at that, level 11. How about that? Wooden shield. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, okay, so I've got a few rares here, which is good. So starting to get some of the decent um, equipment coming through. Uh, rare sword. That's not bad. And you know what? I think it's probably a good time to start getting rid of a few things that are not of interest to me at the moment. Um, basically, whatever is um, basic, I guess, I'm going to get rid of. I think it's probably a good way to sort of do it. Um, what's this guy here? Don't want to equip that, so let's get rid of that for now. Um, that's actually getting low in durability, so I'm going to swap that out. Let's get rid of that. And let's leave that alone. There's the next level uh, for the basement. So I'm assuming level 2 it will be. Um, for me, playing ARPG games as well, 
And, you know, I've referenced uh, ARPGs that I've actually played specifically. Um, Grim Dawn would be one, but I've, I'm always a stickler for making sure that I've explored the map. So I do like my exploration and I do like finding things as well. And if I can find things, um, I'm, I'm a happy boy. There we go. Let's just take a few of those as we uh, move along. Ooh, okay, let's get you guys in a in a group. Come on, guys. And all right, let's just take you guys out. There we go. Using this effectively. How about that? Let's take out oop, out of mana. All right, let's regenerate our mana. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. I should be okay in doing this. Nice and easy. So if you take out the boss, you take out the minions that are possessed. I'm calling these guys possessed. Um, because that's what I feel like that they are. Because if you take out the guy in blue, or with the blue writing um, above their name, you um, you essentially kill the rest of them, which is kind of neat. So, cool little thing to know. Uh, Infernal Hound, there we go. Let's defeat you. Open up that. Ooh. That's new. Um, okay. Um, let's get rid of that. Grab that. No, 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 no. I said let's get rid of that. Oh, no. Because I have to go down here, of course. That's a purple amulet. Okay. That's an epic. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's my very first epic that I've got. I'm going to hang on to this. Because I don't want to lose the durability right now. And I don't want to sacrifice this early in game. So let's continue on. So, whoop, hello. Okay, goodbye. And I didn't get that through like a mini boss or anything, so that's kind of cool. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. So, there we go. And blew them all away. How easy is that? Um, so, what have we got? Helmet, amulet, cap. Okay, not interested. Let's move on. Okay, there we go. So, my mage is doing quite good. I mean, despite... You know, at the beginning of the video, I sort of died right away, and yes, it is what it is. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where are you, Mr. Hound? Come on, buddy. You gonna come? No? That's fine. I sort of wanted to, you know, conserve my, um, my mana, but hey, what do you do? It'll regenerate, and I should be just fine. Okay, Infernal Hound, that's what it's called. I don't know why I said internal. Anyway, if you guys had taken notice to that. Oh, hello, boys. Okay, boom. So, yeah, map exploring as you do. So, I think I might have to backtrack as well. So I think earlier on I made a different turn, but I, I didn't explore a certain section, but I'm going to have to double check on that. Uh, dead end, that's fine. Not a problem. Take you out. Bag is full. And let's head down. I think I might, like I said, I'm going to backtrack for a second just to see if I've missed out anything uh, important potentially. But super happy that I got that um, I got that epic. So I wonder what type of other epics I can get in the basement. Um, obviously, the the more I explore and the um, the further I get down in the storyline, I'm obviously going to find better weapons, of course, and armor and all that sort of jazz. But um, I feel like earlier on, oh no, that's it. Okay, so it looks like I've explored everything that I needed to explore. Um, that appears to be completely looked at. So if you guys didn't realize what I did there, I pretty much clicked the minimap in the top right hand corner to expose this. And you can obviously still continue to look around and suss out exactly where you should be going if you haven't explored a certain area of the map. And obviously sort of navigate your way around until you get to the next level. Now obviously as soon as we get to the next level, we can activate this through the um, through the little uh, teleport area so we can move on 
um, straight away to the next level without having to repeat you know floor one which we're onto floor two so as you can see there's not much that I've discovered as I've only just entered the zone so yeah I figured I'd just sort of give you guys a quick little education piece on that but I think I might just clear depending on how fast I do this I guess if I can clear floors one and two quite quickly and comprehensively I think I'll probably go ahead and leave it for today but I'll see how far I get with floor two depending on how much more time I've got here as well at the same time so yeah I figured I'd just sort of bring this up as I'm sort of going along but um, let me know how you guys are enjoying me playing anima in general um, the whole ARP genre in general look I feel I've got a lot to learn when playing these sort of games I'm very I'm not that well knowledgeable so even though that I've had some minor exposure and experience whilst playing a game like this and, and other games as well in the sort of genre family um, I don't consider myself an expert of any you know degree or anything like that so again this is where I like to sort of lean on more experienced guys to sort of give me a better understanding on you know what I should be looking at personally so yeah again just a little thing i like to sort of you know throw out there let's just drink some of that okay oh something's broken and can i oh no i think i'm gonna die here because i can't get out of this force field oh my god okay okay oh no 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 come on guys come on guys come on guys oh look at that just at the nick of time how about that um i've got a gold ring i want to grab Okay, um, what can I get rid of here, guys? That is very basic to me. I'm not interested in that. Okay, cool. Got what I wanted. Let's quickly suss out what this is. Identify that. Um, 13 to Thorn, 7 to Health, 4 to Magic Res. 12% chance of curse um, an enemy for 2 seconds. That's cool. So, that's pretty neat. And something has broken. What is broken? I think it's this yeah so you can still sell these if you really wanted to but in the interest of inventory management you probably just want to get rid of it and throw it out what I probably should be doing is making better use of the teleportation um, side of things just so I can get back um, and drop things off which yes it is a definitely a good shout I probably should be doing it but um, I don't know I feel like I just want to keep running through and that's not a bad looking shield and yeah just want to explore as much as I can I guess Whoop, don't know why I was just hitting the wall where I should be hitting this fella here um, but yeah that's just my thoughts on that if I do go back I can obviously land back to where I was so let's go ahead and do that anyway and once we sort of come back here um, actually, we've got an exclamation mark over here, so let's talk to Jarkos. Asortalo, talak pesi lataerto. Ius sete voc, inugaras, rata tu iraldis si magals. Nu fas raric baros esprieto i vos ocul. Sarabidis, teratinu, hau nugitec, ber lora foiter. Cool, the scissor. Search for the abomination. Okay. So I'll definitely go ahead and do that just as well. I sort of came back into the map. So sorry, back to um, back to my homestead here. Um, but yeah, this really annoys me. The fact that I can't get to stashes two and three. I don't, really don't know what I need to do to open up stashes two and three. So yeah, so that's something I really need to sort of look at and and sort of take from there. Um, but yeah. Um, with this, I should be really getting rid of some of these things, to be perfectly honest with you, to sort of, you know, have some better inventory management. Um, 
and if I even were to trade with this fella here, I'll sort of trade in a few things, but it's really not going to help me out, to be honest with you guys, um, as I sort of need to, um, you know, that I'll probably get rid of, that I'll get rid of. Let's go ahead and identify that. But this is where you've got to sort of take some time and, you know, identify, read up on the, um, on what the skill point um, would be for each individual item so you can make that decision whether or not you want to um, get rid of anything or anything like that. So, look, it doesn't appear that I'm going to go through the full um, floor two of the map, but just to sort of prove a point, I can just sort of go back into here and I come back exactly where I was. So, really, to be honest with you guys, no harm whatsoever. And I can sort of continue on, um, you know, getting through the map here. So I've only opened up a, a section of this. Not a lot, to be honest with you. I only sort of taken out one mini boss fight. Um, you know, by the, skin, uh, by the skin of my teeth, if you know. Um, but that, that appears to be the next level there. So if I end up going through that, um, I'll have uh, floor three activated. Which, you know what, let's just go ahead and do that anyway. And I can sort of revert back to um, floor two. And I don't know if they're respawned, which I'm going to assume that they are. Um, or maybe not. Or they may they may have, but they're just um, reworked and removed, uh, you know, rejigged around the map, I guess. But obviously, if I go back this way, this will obviously tell me because I know I've cleared this section here. So if anyone were to regenerate here, then you, you obviously know, but it doesn't appear that way. So that's good to know. Yeah. Because that's where everyone was before when they were trying to kill me. So at least this way I've gotten through two floors onto the third, but I haven't actually cleared out floor two per se. So it is what it is. But I don't want to sort of bore you guys too much in... Oop, I missed the gold. How much gold do I have, actually? I have gone up in... Skillage here. I think I might spend this time to... Even everybody out. Just to sort of get... Um, you know, an even spread across the board there. And then based upon that, I'll check in and see what I need... For certain equipment and armour and all that sort of jazz to hold it and, you know, be able to wield certain things. Um, but, I don't know if this is a dead end, to be perfectly honest. Yep. To be honest, I think I should be just grabbing anything that's not, you know, grey. And anything blue or better, I should be really sort of, you know, drawing my attention to that. So blue, yellow, purple, I guess, would be the obvious way to sort of go upon this. Um, so far, um, nothing too crazy. I mean, I say that now and then, you know, something happens and then I either die again or come close to it. But so far, so good. Leveling up, we're level 11. I'm about to hit level 12. So I'll tell you what, we'll continue moving on as best as we can here. And as soon as I hit a level 12, um, I think we'll go ahead and leave it. So I just want to see you guys, um, show you guys another level up, I guess. That'd be kind of neat. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, no dead end. Let's just spray you guys. Use a little bit of mana. Okay, I'm definitely going to get level 12 here. There we go. May as well clear this room out. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, guys. Okay, how about it? Look at that. Nice and easy. So, that's probably a good time to sort of leave it here, I reckon. But, I've already got a full inventory, so... Gonna have to get rid of a few things that I don't want. So, something like that, like that. That looks impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Plus 15, oh, you know, 15 defense, but... These things, they sell for a bit as well, so I should be actually selling these things and making a bit of coin on it. Um, 
Because that doesn't go for much. That doesn't go for much. But as soon as you get something blue, automatically you're selling it for 48. But I really want to get that. And I want to get... Oh. I want to get that, that armor. So, what did I pick up that I want to drop? Let's just drop that and that respectively. Perfect. Over there. There you go. Got what I needed. Let's go ahead and identify that. It's not too bad. Arm increased by 10%. Block damage increased by 26. Healing regen. What do we get for this one? Let's go ahead and identify. 5% chance of slowing enemy for 2 seconds. 17 to health. 16 to magic. Excuse me. Hey, sorry. Burping a little bit here, guys. And 5 to health regen. So these are all good. So I feel like I should save these when I actually go into some sort of boss battle. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I'd be really interested to know your thoughts about this. Again, reaching out to your more experienced guys. If there's anything that I am missing or I'm lacking here, please don't be shy. Let me know in the comments because... I really want to know and I really want to learn more about this game but also the scale of ARPG as a general rule of thumb what I should be looking out for and what am I missing currently um, things like that and what I should be looking out for in terms of good weapons armor the rest of it and pretty much that sort of goes without saying but if you ended up enjoying this video hit the like button, share the video. If you've got any other people that are interested in watching, wanting to watch a playthrough or a let's play of Anima um, in any other game as well, please share the video. Um, it just helps out the channel. More people come in, more people enjoy it. They're entertained. I'm happy that I'm making these videos and you guys are enjoying my content. So that's what I really want to emphasize here. Uh, most importantly, if you guys have been directed to my channel, if you guys are new, consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. 